This is Lemons Car Spotting. You post to Instagram with the hashtag Lemons Car Spotting. We pick the hooptiest. They are so incredibly terrible. And which one we want to become a real Lemons build. It does car-like things. We've been pushing for one of those in Lemons too, and those are very affordable. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Lemons Car Spotting. I'm Eric, that's Nick. Even pointed the right direction this week, you know how this works. This is your Lemons build, this is your hooptiest of the week, and Nick will tell me when to stop. Stop! That's the Lemons build for Nick, and I will take the hooptiest, and let us get underway. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Starting off into monster truck territory. <laughs> I've said this before, uh, you know, putting a car or other vehicle onto a truck chassis is a uh, excellent thing to do. And as long as you're doing that, why wouldn't you do something like a Jaguar XJ sedan? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this looks straight Vandenplas too. It's the extra wheelbase yeah. trimmed out. I mean, there are a million of these sitting around having caught on fire. So as long as you're putting something on a V8 blaz- Blazer chassis, if I can say that, uh, yeah, throw a big sedan on there. Makes perfect I, sense. Well, and the thing about Jaguars of this era, I mean, they're, the interiors are incredibly nice. Like, I've always thought, like, yeah. God, like when you go to the pick and pull and see a Jaguar, first of all, they're usually intact because nobody's buying parts off of them. You right. know, yeah. whereas, <laughs> like, you know, if it's a Malibu, everybody needs everything off of it. Right. Uh, so they're like just in pristine condition. They often have low miles because they broke down early. Right. And it's like they're this acres of really nice leather and all this stuff and it's like man it's a waste it's like just gonna all go in the shredder like there's got to be a way to recycle this stuff in some kind of meaningful way and uh, i think this guy might have discovered it i think that's it yeah uh so uh if you are building a lifted truck uh off an old chassis find yourself a jaguar they're cheap everywhere yep done and done oh parceline is it I believe that is a Pontiac uh, Parisian. Parisini? Parisini, yeah. Uh, (laughs) Uh, I thought it was too small for that, but boy, it might be a Grand Prix Uh, sedan then. Um, um, Yeah. So, yes, um, Snoop Dogg refers to the Pontiac Parisian as the Parisini, and NSF Racing and Lemons entered a parceline yep. <laughs> into a race. And yep. I don't think they did that on purpose. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you're right. This might be a Grand Prix. It, this, it's hard to tell size, but I don't think they ever put the slatted grill on the parceline. So uh, either way, it's probably got a V8 and an automatic and has the red interior to match the bad Landau top. So is so if it's a grand prix that would make it a g body yeah yeah they made some four door g bodies not very many of them i mean yeah I've, boy it, if that's the case i mean i've certainly seen plenty of regals and uh malibu g bodies but i don't know that i've ever seen this front end yeah uh, the pontiac version Ah, Christ, we might be wrong about all of it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we could be. Uh, tell us in the comments the 50 ways that we've screwed that up. Yeah, the uh, uh, the paint coming off in big, big, big swaths is pretty yeah, entertaining as it's well. It's nice. It's, it's a nice effect. It's good. Uh, it's good. All right. Uh-huh, ah, man. Speaking of paint. Yeah. <laughs> this has got to be a wrap, or I don't know, it's a Fiat, so maybe it just looks like this. Yeah, it's uh, mid body work, much Bondo. Uh, actually, that's all Bondo as I look at the rear quarter. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, it's been hit, I think, a lot. Maybe, maybe everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so the Fiat 500 is. I mean, it's a cool car. Like when they came out, I mean, they are one of, if not the smallest cars to come out in the, in the last 10 years. I mean, by the time this was released, the mini was the size of a Ford Explorer. So I really appreciated that we as 
fat Americans were actually able to buy a legitimately, you know, Euro sized small car. Um, did we buy them? No. Uh, but, um, I like them and I like seeing them around actually, uh, lemons event manager, Kim, they have a, uh, 500 a Barth, don't they? Yeah. 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 Um, Kim, and, Kim and Richard drive it around a little bit. It's, yeah. it's the- I actually saw a 500 a Barth convertible, whatever they call the one that's got the crazy the claw back thing. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Um, and so that one has a weird trunk. Like it doesn't get the hatchback because yeah, it's the, got like a little pop out deal. It, it will yeah. mail slot thing. And so I saw this thing and it had a bicycle in the trunk, you know, halfway in the yeah. trunk with the whole back half uh, coming out. <laughs> and then uh, um, I could tell from the uh, lack of mufflers that it was the Abarth model. Right. Um, right. Did these, I mean, it's a Fiat slash Stellantis product. I assume that they just, uh, explode with great regularity um if you were to actually own one i don't actually know and i'm going to key in on a thing you said right at the start which is one of the cars to come out in the last 10 years these cars are almost 20 years old like they came out in the mid 2000s Uh, yeah that's really uh, old for uh, yeah fiat stellantis (laughs) yeah yeah. so uh, i don't know i don't see very many of these around here but i don't know yeah the midwest Uh, tell us the reliability of this and then you've got the electric model which i remember judge phil had one as a press car and i I mean for around you're basically driving a golf cart that can go 80 miles an hour which is great by uh by our standards of thinking so uh yeah tell us everything about every model of fiat 500 in the comments and then uh, we will uh, use that as inform uh, to make our informed decision about buying one, uh, yeah. which we uh, have. haven't had one in lemons ever. And sure. they're probably old enough to start. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And, and, know. They, and they're big enough to meet the wheelbase requirement. So yeah. Um, yeah. No for system. being a little, little yeah. tippy. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, all right. Speaking of unreliable. <laughs> oh, uh, now, <laughs> <laughs> I went to uh, cat. I, I I was not raised Catholic, but I did go to Catholic high school. I was also before I got to Catholic school. The city of Oakland uh, or a city of Oakland spelling bee finalist in the sixth grade. Yep, and yep. that ain't how you spell John, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not not with the traditional Bible, I would guess. Maybe this is some uh, modern interpretation it's the, there. Of. It's, the, it's the King Frank version. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's the Frank Bacon version. Yeah. <laughs> King Frank. King Frank Bacon. Uh, yeah. Um, well, it's a person dedicated to their scripture, if not their education. I got I you know I got to feel like that is not if even if you spell John correctly um that that is not a direct quote from <laughs> yeah, from chapter yeah. 3 verse 16 uh, but maybe not maybe it's like yeah. uh make money f b uh I don't know uh you know um get paid uh <laughs> get ladies like avoid, avoid hell is actually uh, uh not a phrase I've heard, you know, you'll see people with yeah. signs telling you, you know, to, to, to get Jesus into their lives. Avoid hell is like, it, it really imparts a picture of like <laughs> hell is a freight train coming down the track <laughs> and you got to avoid it. <laughs> Maybe that's exactly what they want you to envision. Yeah, like, I find it entertaining that it's also on an all road. Yeah. Why. Yeah. Yeah. Actually it might even be a standard a four wagon, which is yeah. you know, the enthusiast preferred version. Uh, well, there you go. Jahan. Jahan. 316. 316. Yep. All right. Ah, we're back into now. This is the second time in a couple of weeks. We've had one of these either mango or peanut Corolla. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one's the peanut, which has a slightly less a fast backy shape. Um, what's weird is, so they had the mango and the peanut and the peanut was more upright, um, more sedan-y. And then the other one was more fast backy, but you would think one would be the hatchback and the other would be the sedan. And they're not, they both have a little mini trunk. So it was just yeah. like kind of a weird style 
choice. Sort of like the difference between the regular Datsun 510 and the uh, Bluebird Coupe, where yeah. it's both they're both two door sedans with trunks. It's just one of them has a roof that's slightly sportier. Right. Yeah, uh, that's a it's a Japanese car affectation from the seventies that I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, these are cool. This one yeah. is. Uh, I mean, you know. Uh, I, I wouldn't have any qualms racing this in lemons. I mean, what else is this going to do? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. This, there's no, the amount of effort required to quote unquote, save this thing for yeah. street use is probably a little extreme. Uh, I would guess there's a little rot underneath. Um, so, yeah, you know, this probably. is the kind of thing where you put a subframe from a Hilux yep. under it or whatever. Um, Whatever it needs to be able to race in lemons. Um, yep. But yeah, it's yeah, tiny, lightweight. Probably could, has a big enough engine bay to put a decent motor in it. Could it could dominate? It could dominate. Okay. Yep. All right. Next we have what? What the? <laughs> well, we're not in America, so this is not a model that we got. Is it a Nissan Laurel? I thought it was Nissan? a Mazda. I don't know. This it's it's weird because it's in Europe, um, which I always find interesting. Like if you go to Japan, there's all kinds of weird, yeah. car, you know, models that you don't get um, in Japan. But when they sold weird models in Europe that we didn't get, then it's extra interesting to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I'm cheating and reading the thing. This is Latvia car spotting. Um, yeah. He says it's a Mazda 929, which I guess a Mazda 929 coupe. Uh, it's kind of cool looking. It's it looks, very cool. I've you never know, seen one of these. You know what it reminds me of, kind of, is uh, is the bitter. It looks oh, really yeah. bitter bit. in, sure. uh, in just the way it's all angles. There's no rounded part of it at all. It's sort of like really. a cross between that and a pop-up headlight Honda Prelude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, uh, man, that's cool. I mean, we never got... I mean, was there a sedan equivalent of this? Whatever it is, this never made it uh, to the U.S., so that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, the you know, not, uh, I was having this discussion yesterday about the Sigma, which is Mitsubishi's uh, <laughs> attempt at uh, building right. a luxury brand in the, in the United States, a la Acura and right. Infiniti and Lexus. Uh -huh. And Mazda considered doing this with right. Cosmo was the – the, it, was, it was Unos, wasn't it? Unos, you're right. The Cosmo right. was the model. There uh, was a they, Unos Cosmo. Cosmo it was like the flagship. Right. Yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, it never, it never made it to the United States. I don't know if they really sold it anywhere in right. real numbers, but right. like, the Cosmo is, you know, three rotor wankle territory and it's the motor everybody wants to put in everything so yeah 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 yeah. i have no idea what's in this thing yeah i assume it's probably a v6 but it's pretty early yeah i don't know don't even be developing a v6 if you know in the comments tell us about yeah the mazda tell us about the latvian market mazda 929 coupe <laughs> uh oh <laughs> oh no it's not it's not juggalos it's their <laughs> it's, it's predecessor it's relatives yeah gene simmons and kiss oh man um the, the kiss army scion is uh whew, boy uh, oh boy and you can't see the driver he's got the hair does he also have the uh the uh the makeup I hope so i mean <laughs> one, you just assume that's the case i'm also what I'm stunned that this is the store that he's traveling to in this vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. What would you figure the name of his kiss cover band is? Oh yeah. Um, Oh boy. Yeah. No, it's, it's gotta be a play on words, you yeah. know, that also incorporates the town in Ohio that he's from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's clearly, uh, it's like the Peter uh, Chris, by the way, the he's French the Nick hair. kiss you yeah. know, from Indiana. <laughs> um, dude, pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, I, we've said it before. Um, people are, 
weirdly unwilling to modify their cars in in ways like this that draws attention you know they might have crazy hair or piercings or tattoos or whatever and then they're driving around in a tan suv um you know have some guts and do this yep uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say this guy is the peter chris in his cover band because you know, <laughs> yeah. can carry a whole drum kit so yeah uh, yeah definitely yeah, absolutely. Yeah. These are, yeah, first-gen Scion XB, one of the great cars, modern cars, um, I will say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm also picturing him going into the store and be like, uh, yeah, I'd like all of the above, please. <laughs> How else do you buy the jewelry and guns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. And I need a loan. Um, what? What the... What's happening? It's uh, uh Flory. Uh, it's sure. a, these are advertising something. Uh, it's an insurance company. It looks like okay, uh, and they're all parked in the field, and they are three extremely unrelated <laughs> automobiles. <laughs> well, they're related in the sense that they're all insurance, uh, you know, totals <laughs> um, that then they couldn't sell at auction. <laughs> so um, it is. I, I couldn't put my finger on why this photo is so messed up for a minute. And I realized it's because the cars are all really clean <laughs> but they've been there for a really long time. Right. The Luna APV in particular is sunk to the axle nut in the grass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of, well, and then it's like, where is this? Because yeah. there certainly isn't any hint of like an office that you can go into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, this, this is what this, what this smacks to me is like the guy, you know, um, Jahan Flory, uh, yeah. insurance magnate. He's he's the big dog down there um, in French Lick, coincidentally home of the greatest Kiss cover band. Right. And in addition to the insurance company, he owns a bunch of land uh, that he hasn't done anything with, but he owns it. Right. Um, and he's decided to park these vehicles uh, to promote his insurance business there in Indiana. Uh, that's my theory. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I mean, it is cheaper than a billboard. Three cars <laughs> you just park and then you it walk sure every year. <laughs> and, and unlike a billboard, it can be driven. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I would bet that Hyundai still runs. Yeah, it probably uh, does. Yeah. Just, the other two, uh, not so much. <laughs> uh, we got to play a joke on Mr. Flory and go and, and hotwire the Hyundai and just drive it away. <laughs> hey, what the... Just move it like fifty feet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh okay. Next up. Ooh. Ah, Fox what? Fairmont? Is that what this is? Yeah, it's the the uh the brick tail lights are the giveaway on the Fairmont. Uh-huh. Um you know, uh yeah. Ah, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this design is aged well. It hasn't, but yeah. it doesn't look as bad as some of the other stuff that was coming out in this late malaise era. Yeah, yeah, I agree with this. This one's in Panama, by the way, which ah. makes it extra awesome. But yeah, I, the Fairmont is the classic, I have drawn a car style of uh, yes, car design. exactly. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. The literal three box shape. Right, um, right, right, so. right. Yeah, the, you know, down to the taillights that are boxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is the car that you know somebody who has zero artistic talent, i.e., me, would have dr drawn <laughs> when I was yeah. six years old. I do uh, like the uh, the red wheels. It's a nice touch, though. It is nice. Kinda, I, it feels yeah. factory. The red wheels with the uh, yeah. I could uh, see the color keyed. Yeah, yeah. Being an option, yeah. Yeah, very snazzy. It's Fox body too, so it's basically a Mustang. Well, and we've said a million times, if you're going to build a Fox body for lemons, build this and not the Mustang, just because it's that much more interesting. Yeah, it's way cooler. All right. Last car for this week. I missed one somewhere because I only have nine. But, oh, <laughs> man. What? Uh, it's, a, it's some kind of a mail truck. Yeah. But one uh, that I've never seen before. Yeah. I. This looks like... Um, 
in Police Academy when Hightower ends up writing tickets in the little uh, <laughs> little cart. Yeah. It looks exactly yeah. like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I've told this story on Lemon's Car Spotting before, but years ago, I parked in front of this bar and then this girl shows up in a three-wheeled Cushman meter made car <laughs> and is like, hey, can you move over like a foot? Because I was in a corner spot and I could move over and then she could fit her Cushman in there. And I was like, yeah, sure. Hey, is that your car? She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then later I regretted it because I realized like, you know, she was the love of my life and I didn't follow up. <laughs> the daily driver Cushman girl. Yeah. Um yeah. Anyway, uh, so, uh, back to this thing, larger than a Cushman. Um, yeah, if only just. I mean, I feel like the front section is very small and it's just tall. I don't know. It's powered by a two cylinder Onan gas engine. Oh, yeah. I'm now reading the thing. I can't read part of it because the logo is blocking it. It's a West Coaster Mail Mailster. Yeah, sure. Huh. Two-cylinder Onan. Uh, now I know Onan. They make generators. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, so the same thing. It's same, fine. same idea. Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah. fine. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. Um, it's got a license plate. That means you could take it on the Lemons Rally. That's right. Uh, you won't. It'll take you a long time to get anywhere. But yeah, uh, yeah. But you can haul a lot of things and live in it. Indeed. Uh, all right. That does it for this week. Let's see. Uh, Eric, you've got the hooptiest. Why don't you go first? Oh, man. It's tough. There's nothing that's like totally crapped out. I mean, obviously, that uh, insurance sales scheme is pretty great. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, I'm, I think just for sheer returning to the earthness i'm going to go with the corolla uh, uh, that yeah. is, that is yeah. mostly gone it was uh it was in the worst condition for sure yeah. yeah yeah i mean sadly um you hate to call a car that would be nice if it were nice a hoopty but this one is clearly uh in that category yeah it it was a an economy car that was probably used like an economy car and then discarded more or less so. yeah yeah there it is it, yeah. Well, um, you know, I'm going to pick the Corolla as well because, you know, we've said a million times, uh, you know, this car's going to the crusher. Like a yes. form of saving it is going to a lemons race. Like even though people on the Internet will say, don't ruin that car in a lemons race, like car is already ruined. It's going to cease to exist unless somebody resurrects it. It's a lot easier to build this into a lemons car than it is to actually restore it. So, um yeah, um, and then you've got a cool old classic Corolla um, on a racetrack. So what's not to like? Yeah, agreed, hundred percent. Man, we haven't seen one of these even in a long time. I don't yeah. think. No, nope. so. I don't think so. Well, there you go. That'll do it for this week. Keep tagging your photos. Great submissions from now all over the world, which is awesome. We get to see weird stuff like the nine two nine coupe. So that's cool. Um, and then uh, yeah. As far as your guys' assignment, keep tagging them and then build these into Lemons cars. That'd be great. I agree. You'd have to do the classic uh, Toyota orange, yellow, red uh, color scheme on this. It'd be sweet. Yeah, it's just like a trophy truck. Is it Ivan, Ivan something or other? Ivan Iron Man Stewart. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>